it does feel like Groundhog Day and it's been nearly a year of Groundhog Day now. In fact, one year of Groundhog Day. So I think um, Israel's President Ruben Rivlin didn't go through the normal procedure, which would have been to give Benny Gantz two more weeks, to give Benjamin Netanyahu four weeks and two weeks, so that's another two months of this. And he said, right, no more, this is your deadline, and if not, I'm giving the mandate to the parliament. I think it's an intention on his part to get the parties to reach this power-sharing deal, because neither can do it without the other. That's been the mathematics for the whole year. And I think he's hoping that this deadline will concentrate their minds, because really, in the past month, you know, Israel's election was on March the 2nd. It's been the whole corona time, and still that hasn't enabled this decision to be made. What we are seeing is a masterclass. Benjamin Netanyahu first enabled, or Benjamin Gantz, blew up his own coalition. He fractured it. He is now a much weaker man. And now that he is weakened uh, and isolated, Benjamin Netanyahu is playing with him like a cat with a mouse. He's forced this weakened, isolated mouse into a corner. And it looks like he's going to be the winner out of all of this, even though it must be said, he too cannot form a coalition by himself. But people are leaving Benny Gantz's party. They are coming across to Benjamin Netanyahu, and he may be able to reach the magic number of 61. Even if he doesn't, he is the most powerful man in the land. It has been a masterclass.